different times, came about last year. Um, we began looking into this through a class at CHS called AT Seminar, um, where we're tasked with looking at um, real world issues and how we can solve these. And one of the issues which we looked at as one of our groups was um, whether later school start times were beneficial to students. And uh, if they were, well, how could we implement them? So as it turns out, uh, one of the things which many people tend not to realize is that when you go through puberty, um, the, the body's circadian rhythm, which is the internal clock which regulates what time you wake up, what time you go to bed, um, gets delayed by about two hours. So in adults, uh, adults typically tend to release melatonin, which is the um, sleep chemical, at around 9 p.m.-ish. But in teenagers, especially high school teenagers, they tend to release melatonin at around 11 p.m.-ish. Uh, so school starts at a time like 7.19, uh, assuming students have to get up at around 6. Um, if they were to go to bed at the earliest time possible, which is 11, if they slept from 11 to 6, they'd only get 7 hours per night, uh, which is much less than the recommended 8 to 9 hours of sleep. So very few students actually get um, the recommended eight hours of sleep. I believe the AAP says it's something like 74% are sleep deprived, uh, meaning that they get less than this amount of time, which is why we think late school start time is a really important thing to have in our community. The, uh, the other thing is just um, sort of to answer some of uh, sort of the topics brought up before. Uh, according to uh, what Carlos said in the research that's been that's been done, um, technically waking up later, even if with the same amount of sleep, should be better for the kids. Um, they should be more awake, and it, it'll be healthier because they'll go into a, sort of a deeper sleep earlier than um, if they were to go to sleep, say, at 10. Um, the same eight hours of sleep from 10 to 6 would be um, less beneficial if it was from 11 to 7. I mean, more beneficial from 11 to 7. Currently, we're conducting research uh, a uh, few of the other uh, towns in Massachusetts have implemented later school start times and we're reaching out to try and see uh, what went well, what didn't go well, and uh, we're conducting this research to uh, further build a case or prove uh, what might be the disastrous effects that we haven't thought of yet. So um, just this is uh, sort of not a fully official list brought by the town, but from uh, public records that we could find, uh, we've gone through um, a lot of the schools in Massachusetts and seen how many schools, um, this is sort of a preliminary search that we've done, actually start after 7.50, and there are roughly 80 schools that start after 7.50, give or take a few, because um, we have to double check our data, of course, by calling them, but this was just what we could find on the websites. And, um, from the public records, so we w were in the process of um, reaching out to them, out to them, and seeing, um, first of all, if they actually do start at this time, and what um, when they made this change. Because if many of them had done this change, have done this change within the last five years, that begins to address um, another issue that it is um, against sort of starting school later, which is uh, sports leagues, because a lot of the sports leagues. They do have game. They, that's why. That's why a lot of the scheduling happens because students have to work with other schools in the district in order to um, compete in the competitive sports leagues. And if um, there's a general trend of schools in our state and in our district, especially moving towards a later start time, um, Westford is believed to be in the process as well as Bill, uh, um, Then that could that could be helpful for us to get in front of it and to be proactive and in the long run to benefit our students. Yeah. Going off of uh, what you said, a lot of students tend to think, especially athletes, that um, delaying start times would be bad for them because they would have to get out of school early in order to attend sports games. Uh, but really this can be solved uh, quite simply by having the whole league delay a certain time. And I know that sounds really um, crazy, but it was actually done in the uh, Metro Northwest area of Boston. The um, Merrimack Valley, no, we're the Merrimack Valley, the Middlesex Sports League. Uh, those 12 schools, they, the superintendents took charge and collectively they all decided that they would uh, make sure that no high school started before 8 a.m. So the 12 of them worked together and now they're currently, either all of them currently start after 8 a.m. or they're currently in the process of switching to 8 a.m. to make sure that all of these um, schedules can align so students don't have to miss class. Now they chose 8 a.m. Um, the American Academy of Pediatrics recommended 8.30 a.m. Um, back in 2014. So, Really, it depends what's best for each school district. Um, obviously, we would prefer 8.30 a.m., but if that's not feasible, uh, anything after 8 would be good. But to address some of the other issues which were brought up, uh, I know one of the things I just mentioned was um, if students 
go to bed later. I mean, the school starts later. Students will assume that they can just go to bed later. So this is um, known as a disco hypothesis. Um, it was actually disproved by researchers such as Kyla Wallstrom uh, from the University of Michigan and uh, Mary Kaskadon from Brown University. They found that if students are given the extra hour um, of sleep in the morning, they actually do spend that extra hour sleeping. Now, it might not be exactly one hour for one hour. It's probably closer to one hour to 45 minutes. So every extra hour of um, the late start gets them an extra 45 minutes of sleep. So it's not perfect, but it does get them more sleep. And more sleep leads to better rested students who pay attention more in class. And as a result, if they pay attention more in class, they have to spend less time studying, less time doing homework, which um, even though they might have less time to do homework, they need to spend less time doing the homework, which solves that problem too.